day has been kind of a slow start. I am really, really tired. <laughs> I am dragging the last two days, like Tuesday, I had six meetings. Yesterday, I think I had four or five, plus some homework yesterday. And I'm just really, really tired. Like, <laughs> I did not want to wake up this morning. I might my knees feel really achy my throat feels sore i don't know if i pulled like one of my vocal cords or something but the other day when i was like making weird sounds because like i want to get really excited i go like ah, and it felt like something moved and changed and not in a good way and so that was really weird and my throat's been weird since then and i just i don't really feel good <laughs> So I have a call today and then we have the third level up class tonight and I'm really excited because Michelle is doing a big chunk of it since we're starting to design. I'm really excited for that. I might cancel my meeting with Ryan. I hate canceling meetings especially with Ryan because he's just such a helpful mentor but Thursday is like the day when I start to crash throughout the week. I'm kind of you know off the weekend. I'm going 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 and then when Thursday hits I'm just like and I'm done. <laughs> So, and then tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. I'm filling in for free lunch Friday. I have class for three hours. I have my Horn Ambassador review so that I can become not just an ambassador in training, but an actual Horn Ambassador. And then I also volunteered to help mentor a younger person who they watch this channel. Their father wants them to watch his channel because they are really excited about nonprofits and working on different things. So I offered to do that as well, which I'm really excited about. It's just gonna be a really long day tomorrow. <laughs> So yeah, we're just we're plugging along, but I'm really starting to hit the wall today So I might try to rest a lot more today We'll see <laughs> So stay tuned Also Aurora has made herself very comfortable And now I can't get up Aurora <laughs> How could you? How could you? Now I'm stuck here <sighs> Cats, am I right? All right, so I'm currently about to jump on with Cradles to Crayons. It is a nonprofit in Philly that works to collect warm clothing for lower income people who might not have access to warm clothing and then they give them specifically to children. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna be talking to the development director and we're gonna be talking about how Upcycle Design could possibly take donations that they get that they can't necessarily use. It might have a hole in it, it might have a rip in it and then they wouldn't have to throw away that fabric and we could use it in our products. So I'm really excited to chat with her. We've been going back and forth for a while just because all of us have been so busy, but I'm really excited to finally get to jump on with her. So yeah, let's go. All right, so I just got off the phone with Katie. She is such a sweetie. She just started working at Cradles to Crayons and she is just so nice and yeah it looks like they only take kind of new or gently used clothes the clothes they can't use they do give to someone who distributes it to like thrift stores but she said obviously some of the pieces that they can't use that they give to this person they probably can't use if it as a rip in it a hole you know a tear a stain whatever and so she said she would really love to give some of that to us so that we could really cut down on the waste and it would be such a cool partnership and I'm just so excited. I think that it would be really awesome. She was like, oh yeah, like we can probably just like deliver it to you and that would be fine. And I was like, thank you. That's a huge logistical problem for us is delivery and I appreciate you. Yeah, so she was just so sweet and kind and really, really excited about this partnership. So she, so she is talking to her executive director for Cradles to Crayons this afternoon and then they will kind of reach back out to us next week and see if they have any extra questions. I'm so excited, but this will be such a cool partnership. And yeah, we'll see where it goes, but I'm really excited, ah, excited hands. Okay, jazz hands. <laughs> All right, onward with the rest of my day. All right, so tonight we had our third class for Level Up. It went really well. The students are starting to design their own patch based on the nonprofit that they chose, which was the Sunday Breakfast Mission, which works with people who are experiencing homelessness. And so, yeah, it was really exciting for them to start thinking of ideas, and they were putting stuff in the chat, and they were really engaged tonight. All the students were at home because they couldn't be at the warehouse because the Delaware governor, you know, has shut down indoor gatherings because of the COVID levels rising, but we did have really, really great engagement tonight. And I just love these, love these students. A lot of them have their own businesses already. And they were talking about one of them does nails. One of them is doing lip gloss that glows in the dark. I was like, oh my goodness, I've never heard of that before. That is really cool innovation. So 
the students are doing great they're starting to design and then the class was cut short a little bit early tonight because they all had to go to another program which we weren't aware of unfortunately but then I was able to jump on and watch the last part of Hen Hatch all right we're watching Hen Hatch the level up class was for the first hour of Hen Hatch so unfortunately Michelle and I could not watch the first hour but she gave me her zoom link and I was able to jump on for the last half hour so I got to see two pitches out of the six so yeah Please hey, there's our name. Everyone who presented today, along with all 14 semifinalists, upcycle designs, does food that? truck. We had to record videos as semifinalists. They did share one of our videos at the beginning, which was really cool. I didn't get to see it, obviously, because we weren't there, because we had the level up class. But that was exciting. Someone emailed me being like, hey, I saw your video. Super cool. So hopefully they'll have a recording for us to watch back. But I did get to watch two of the six pitches tonight and I was so excited. My friend Maya, she won like $11,000. Yay, Summer that. Founders alum. Moving on <gasps> Maya. to Alchemize Fightwear has been awarded $11,033 $11, to Yes, Alchemize Maya. Fightwear. Alchemize Fightwear won the Audience Choice Award for most commercially viable. Woo! So Alchemize Fightwear. I voted for her in that category. For most commercially viable. And so excited for her. So proud of her. She's been working for more than a year on her startup, Alchemize Fightwear. So that was really exciting. And then we had a bunch of other Summer Founder alumni, like Nuvensis, a team of three guys. Nuvensis will be receiving $1,000 in cash. Woo All right, so Nuvensis. We had uh, Git Potluck, is a, not this last year, but the year before, Summer Founder alum. Get pot luck in cash has won three thousand seven hundred wow. and thirty-three dollars. Further to that, the yeah, law hoping firm. to boo. And then finally, pot luck. I'd like to tell you that you won the audience choice award for most socially. Hey, I voted for them for that too. And, and you will receive <laughs> most socially um, responsible. Yay! And backyard gig, and then blue tusk. Those guys were all in summer founders this last summer as well. So it was really cool to see summer founders represent. And yeah. I'm actually really tired. I don't know if I'm sick, but I had to take a nap this afternoon. My throat really hurts. My glands are swollen. I feel achy. I feel really tired. So I'm hoping it's just being overworked. I'm not sick because we've been completely self-isolating. I don't know how I would have gotten sick. So that's really frustrating because I have a full day tomorrow. So I'm taking the rest of the night off and just relaxing. So hopefully I can get through from 11 to 7 tomorrow. I'm going with meetings. So we'll see. I will keep you updated, but that is the current update. <laughs>